Hey guys, why do I have two of these big 8-bay NAS drives? Well, it's because about a year and a half into its operation, guess what happened? Synology! Turn on Synology! No! The unit refused to turn on. So, it's a NAS drive, you expect it to be a bit more solid and rigid than a year and a half's usage, but things like this happen. I googled it and there's a lot of people complaining about the power supplies in these units. They're very, very flimsy and they become defective after a short period of time. However, I do not know how big of an issue this is because, you know, if you Google for a problem, you're going to find people complaining about it. And Synology, they're one of the top NAS drive providers. They're going to sell a lot of units. That being said, this unit itself, it also has a, something called a, a C2000 issue with their Atom processors. And that means that CPU can get overloaded and refuse to work after a while too. So there's other issues there. However, Synology, they're cool. They extended their warranty from traditionally a two year period to a three year period. So that is a bit reassuring knowing that you can get warranty support from Synology for three years. That is longer than competitors. Okay, so how did the warranty RMA procedure go? I emailed technical support. Hold up, when I say emailed, I mean this is what I did. Technology.com, support, contact us, technical support, create an account, basic information like name and address, prove you're not a robot, activate the account, create a support ticket, figure out the category, what's broken. I wasn't sure, so I went with RMA. Try to fill in the product name. Don't worry, you can do this manually. Describe what's wrong, describe what's wrong again, list out all your upgrades. But to be honest, they told me to send the device empty, so you probably don't need to do this unless the issue is related to one of those upgrades. Tell them where you want to receive notifications, sign your privacy away, and you're done. About 16 hours later, they replied with a generic response saying, can you try turning on the unit and let me know, let me know if um, the power button blinks. I replied back, I said, mate, I told you the unit doesn't turn on. <laughs> so then he said, if you don't want to test the device, then you're going to have to send it into us and let us know what's going on. And I said, you're not understanding me. The unit does not turn on. So um, I think there was a bit of a language difficulty occurring over there. So he said, we can give you an advanced RMA and all I need to do is prepay the return freight shipping in advance, I guess to prove that I'm gonna send back the old unit once I get the new unit and they'll send out a new unit. So I did that, I paid the money, I waited two days and I heard nothing. So I emailed him, I said, hey, when's the unit coming? And he goes, oh, sorry for the delay. I will send you the tracking number soon. And then a couple of hours later, I got the tracking number. So I think you just need to chase them if you want it to arrive quicker. So the replacement unit took eight days from my initial ticket to it arriving. It's here. It's finally here. It's the Synology. Let's open it up. In Australia, and that was very good. I put my hard drives, plugged it into the replacement unit. It got detected and it said uh, we've noticed that, that we need to restore your drives. It took about 10 minutes. Everything was restored and operational again. Very happy that it worked. Of course, you had to do the parity check just to make sure all the drives are correct and that bit makes the computer run really slow and it's a bit noisy. But nonetheless, I'm very happy that I got a replacement unit. So I was, um, I emailed them back and I said, okay, um, where's the, the shipping label so I can send back the old unit that I prepaid for? And he goes, I'm sorry, mate. That was a mistake. You need to pay for shipping the device back to Singapore as well. And I was like, but in your warranty terms and service, it says Synology will ship the replacement unit at Synology's expense. He was like, all right, you got me, mate. <laughs> We're going to give you a refund for the prepaid shipping you paid before. But the ARMA terms, which aren't on the website, I can't find any of that terms anywhere. Maybe I'm just not good enough at Google. But the official terms are you need to pay them to ship you the replacement unit and you need to pay for your shipment back to them. Whereas traditionally a warranty replacement is you send your unit, you wait a couple of weeks, two to three weeks, they don't know what the backlog is. They test the unit. If they find it's a repair, then they'll send you the unit at their cost. Or, you know, I, I don't know, maybe the technical support guy is new and he doesn't really know the terms and he's kind of like blagging it, winging it, going along, enjoying the show. So what I suggest is um, if you are dealing with their warranty process, you just need to be a bit more firm. Well, it depends on your situation. For me, it was mission critical. The data that I had on a NAS drive was very, very important to me. And one, I wanted to make sure that it's safe. And two, I use them for business. So 
you know, not having access to the drives was a hindrance to me. Luckily, I had backups, so I could survive without it. So things were good for me. And eight days is, is more, it's better than what I expected. Looking online, I, I heard three weeks and I'm happy that they did send me the advanced RMA. But there was a bit of that communication problem and finding out what the situation is with the payment. If they, if they would have told me in advance, you know, you need to pay for both shipments or you can ship it to us, I probably might have got the quicker option. Maybe, I'm not sure. I need to have a think about that. But that's how the story unfolded. It just, it just felt like a bit of a, a language communication issue. Just from the start, it was like, my unit won't turn on. Okay, turn on your unit and tell me if the light blink. It's like, the unit won't turn on. And he's like, if you don't want to test the board, then, you know. Yeah, overall, um, I, got, I got the replacement unit. It is working fine. I will, I'm not sure if I will stay with Synology or this unit long enough to find out if it gets damaged in a year and a half because my trust is kind of burnt and these, these units are a bit underpowered. I mean, the CPU is very, very, very slow. And, you know, your mileage will vary about the product. Uh, for example, I, I use Synology Hybrid RAID 2 and that one is the slower of the two options you can pick. I should have went for RAID 6 instead of SHR2. I just didn't know any better. I regret that decision. If I could do it again, I'd format all the drives and go with RAID 6 because it's slightly faster than SHR2. And anything faster than what I currently have will be very helpful because it is a very slow device to access your data. Takes its sweet time. For me anyway, I have um, hundreds and thousands and probably a million files on these these drives so maybe your case will will vary but for me it was too slow of a NAS drive for my suiting but on the positives I love their ecosystem they got a great operating system Synology um, DSM disk storage manager is it's solid it's got lots of apps you can do a lot with it you can do Node.js you can do FFmpeg it's got Linux in in there you can do um you can do um, online cloud backups like Google Drive, Amazon, all that kind of stuff. So you got a really healthy ecosystem. What is a bit underwhelming is the CPUs they put in them. If they put better CPUs in their systems, well, they draw more power, so that's probably not, in, not efficient for their big use case, but it helped my use case out a bit more. And of course, they don't have Thunderbolt connections like other manufacturers do. So there's pros and cons. So I don't know if I will remain with Synology long enough to tell you if it breaks down again in a year and a half, but their warranty, got to say, three years, that's pretty solid. And they did ship the replacement device in eight days, and that's pretty solid too. All right, hope you found this useful. What I'd love to hear is, what has your experience been with these Synology devices? Have you had any horror breakdown experiences or are they working fine for you? Let me know in the comments below and arrivederci. Synology. Turn on Synology! No! All right, it's not plugged in because it is faulty and eight days later, Lara Priceless has arrived. So I'm gonna be showing you what you get in the box after an RMA. Now this is an RMA at advance, so they sent me the new unit before I send them the old unit. And that's because I specifically asked to elevate the ticket to their manager because they were giving me grief. They kept on telling me to turn it on and on and on and on. I said, mate, it doesn't turn on. Yeah, but have you tried turning it on for five seconds? I was like, yeah, it doesn't turn on. Yeah, but have you tried unplugging all the hard drives? No, it doesn't turn on. Yeah, but have you tried following this FAQ guide about when your computer doesn't turn on? Yeah, it doesn't turn on, mate. And eventually elevated to the manager and they sent it to Australia. I had to pay $100 for delivery. But let's see what we get inside. I'm excited because I love unboxing boxes. I was a poor kid. I never got much presents. So for me, when I get a gadget, it just, it, I, I keep the boxes. I keep it in pristine condition. It's just like my dream come true. So that is why I love boxing stuff. Now check it out. What is this? It is... It's just a brand new DS1815 Plus. Uh, you could have sent me the new one, mate. You know, this is pretty cool. They sent me a brand new box and it looks like it's got everything in it. It's the exact same model number. 
<sighs> quad core, but it's an Atom CPU, so it does nothing. I'm happy they sent me a whole brand new box because there's lots of trinkets that you get in a brand new box. For example, hopefully I'm gonna get the Australian power cable this time. So this is a Synology box unboxing. Oh, it's my second box. Let's see what we get inside this. Check it out. It's the Australian cable. So I bought this originally in the UK. So I've got a UK cable, but now I've got a native Australian cable. I'm very happy about that. Thank you very much, Synology. I've got some LAN cables which I can sell on eBay. I've got a key. I've got some screws. Ha. <sighs> You know, that's all right, because if you ever lose pieces of your Synology box, you can get a brand new everything just by saying that it's damaged. All right, so I'm gonna get this out. Oh, there you go. Synology number two is in business. Okay, I got my quick installation guide. What? Oh, I got my foam. Gonna keep it, enjoy it. Arr, free stuff is... I remember the first time I unboxed this, I was being extra careful, but now it's like... I know how it works. I've seen this routine before. I've seen the story play out. So I can have a bit of fun. Oh, baby, baby. Baby, baby. All right, this is getting opened like a man. There you go, ripped it up. This box has had a, an interesting life. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get all the hard drives out of here, vanilla, and stick it in here and see if it works. Now, I will also have to transfer the RAM from this one over to this one, but for now, I just want to see if this one works. All right, fingers crossed. My friends, it's turning on. What's cooking good looking? Status is uh, bad. So let's see what the computer says. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to plug it in using the RJ45 cable because Wi-Fi isn't configured on a new installation. All right, so to get the IP address of the unit, I usually use an app called Bonjour Browser, and I can see on Ethernet free, I've got Synology box, and that's the IP address, 224, and it's at 5,000. Boom, we are in. Welcome back. We detected that you moved your hard drives to, an thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for detecting that. You saved my life, you made me happy, and it's recoverable, my friends, recover. Whew, I got, like 24 terabytes of stuff on this. And it's gonna be about 10 minutes. So the status light has gone. It's blinking because it's doing a reset installation. And after around five to 10 minutes, everything should be good. Fingers crossed. Yeah, you grumble. Grumbling means it's doing something good. All right, we're back. So I'm gonna launch Bonjour Browser again and see that we have our chiral station back. And it's 1.1 this time, 1.1. Boom, we are back. Eight and terabytes is checking my parity. All right, everything looks, it looks like it's almost back to normal. All right, so we look. Everything looks to be good. I'm just gonna wait out the parity check and then I'll turn off my system and transfer over the RAM. Goodbye Synology. You meant a lot to me. Ba -bum, ba -bum. 